A scientific breakthrough at Iowa State University has been made. Local 5's Connor O'Neill joins us now to explain how this discovery could possibly correct genetic errors in cells, Connor? Yeah, good evening, Larissa. This research began over a decade ago in a small lab in Ames, and after years and years of deviations, they used decades-old DNA discoveries to lead their findings toward a DNA structure that can express its own genetic instructions. It's not just a treatment, but it's actually a genetic cure. It accomplished something nobody else has ever done. I mean, that's amazing, right? How, how often do you get to do something that you're the absolute first person to do it? Over the past few decades, there's been little research on fabricating DNA nanoparticles, but this discovery allows scientists to change DNA materials to convey their own genetic instructions made by a scientist inside the body. Henderson used this atomic microscope to build the DNA structures before taking them downstairs to the imaging lab for final approval. Not only can they carry things around and, and find where they need to go, but they can express their genetic code when they get to the place we want them to go. And this research can be applied toward advancements in medical treatments. Injected into a person who has a, a liver malfunction because of a bad, because of a genetic error. The robot goes all over their body, attack, attaches to the liver, and literally edits their genome in that liver to fix that genetic malfunction. These DNA nanoparticles are easy to make, Henderson said, and they're also inexpensive and durable. Advantages for any biomedical companies wanting to use their research. It's about 200 parts, put them in a tube, heat it and cool it, and they all magically assemble into exactly what we want. This discovery isn't the end of Henderson's research, though. In the future, he wants to keep making breakthrough discoveries, like physically editing the genetic makeup of cells to fix errors people or animals may have been born with. Imagine, you know, your kid has a genetic disease, you can treat it, you can put a band-aid on it, or you can cure it. Yeah. I mean, let's cure it. Professor Henderson plans to retire at the end of the academic year, but as you just heard, he still plans to research genetic and cell biology in the years to come in hopes of further advances in medical treatment.